According to USA Today, healthcare spending rose at the fastest pace in 10 years last quarter, a development that could lead to higher costs for consumers this year. Expenses for health care rose at a 5.6% annual rate in the fourth quarter, as reported by the Bureau of Economic Analysis. Driving the increase was an $8 billion rise in hospital revenue. The recovering economy and the fact that more people will be using their insurance leads experts to believe that people may now be undergoing procedures that they may have held off on in the past. Inflation in the Eurozone slowed at a 0.5% in March, increasing fears that the currency block is drifting towards a damaging period of falling prices. The Financial Times reports that the low numbers put pressure on the European Central Bank to stave off the threat of deflation. The ECB has targeted inflation rates of 2% and hopes to keep inflation at the rate until the end of 2016. A period of deflation would stall the recovery because businesses and consumers would hold off on purchases waiting for prices to fall. The Greek parliament voted narrowly to back a controversial package of economic changes that clears the way for the release of further funding from the European Union, ECB, and IMF. The New York Times reports that Greece will receive up to $13.8 billion to pay down its bonds. Greece has already received 240 billion euros in loans in exchange for tax increases, cuts to salaries and pensions, and changing living standards. Greece suffers record unemployment of 28%. Reporting from Millionaire Corner, I'm Heather Kiley. Thanks for watching.